today's video, we have lots to cover, so we're just gonna roll right into the footage of what this basement used to look like before. Okay, you can see here, this room is scary. Bright yellow walls. I have everything shoved into the middle because we're getting ready to paint, but there are all kinds of things we're gonna change in here. We're gonna get rid of this chair rail that's over here that goes around the whole room. We have missing trim everywhere. It is time to get this room cleaned up. And let's talk about this weird vent that we have had our entire time we've lived here and we have no idea why this is here. We have never used it, it is so odd. We are definitely taking it out. So I plan to keep the same furniture because it's nice, but we're gonna get rid of this whole yellow blue vibe. We have already put in these nice tile floors. This is tile that looks like wood and it has done a fantastic job for us down here in the basement. So everything's just kind of piled up in here and I am so ready to begin. We went around and he has mud uh, the walls. Sorry, it gets blurry a little bit. This isn't the best footage, but we had a lot of really uneven walls he took out the vent for us, and now it is time to get ready to paint. I'm so excited. Can you guess what color I painted these walls? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Pretty easy to figure out. <laughs> I really wanted my basement to be cohesive with the rest of my home. So now I just have to get everything put back together down here and then we're gonna do the fun part and that's decorate. But look, I love that there's no chair rail going around here anymore. It really makes the walls look taller. It, ugh, it looks so much better. It just looks like so updated and nice. All right, time to get to decorating. I can grip is better. Oh. Okay. Now I have to hold on. I'll hold it. You go get it centered. I lost my shoe. Um, this way. Stop. Man, this mirror is heavy. <laughs> okay, so I lost my filming light that was over there because <laughs> That was pretty obvious in the mirror. So now that we have this mirror placed where I think I want it and I had Jason's help with it, um, I'll be anchoring it to the wall. This is a super, super heavy mirror, but I have uh, small grandchildren. So I highly recommend that for you. So you can buy wall anchors on Amazon or actually this one came with it. So I'll be using that back behind here in order for this mirror not to ever be knocked over. So as you're gonna see down here, I had very intentional decorating. Before I even began, I planned out what was the purpose of this room? What did I want? What do we, how are we gonna use it? And so that's like one of the number one things that you need to do when you're decorating, like what's the purpose of the room? And so I knew for us, this is just more like a conversational type area. And so that's what I planned out. So I started planning in my head, like what I was going to do. And I knew that I wanted four chairs to sit around an ottoman facing each other. And so what I decided before I purchased anything is I measured everything out with painter's tape. And as you're gonna see here, I have the painter's tape on the floor, like where I was gonna have the rug. I even went so far as to take mailing paper. You can just buy this in a roll, you know, to like wrap a package to send in the mail. You could also use like butcher paper, anything like that. And what I did was I found the chairs that I wanted over on Wayfair and I got the size of them and I cut this into the size that I knew that the chair was gonna be, and then place that throughout the floor in order to make sure that my furniture fit correctly. Because you guys know that one of the number one things is you don't want your furniture to be too big or too small for your space. You want it to fit just right. Okay, so it is always a super exciting day when you get to quit playing pretend with your little drawings and all that, and your furniture actually starts to arrive. So we're gonna start off first here by placing the rug down. And you may notice throughout the filming of this, this has been filmed over the last couple months. With the way the world is right now, furniture takes kind of a long time to get here. And so I've been filming here and filming there. So you will see things pieced together as we're going throughout this filming. I'm just centering up the rug. I want my mirror to be the focal point when you walk in the room. And I'm just taking the time to center this up so it is just wapow when you walk in and this is what you see. Mm. 
When I first began this design process, I originally had planned to put the mirror over on this wall and this over where the mirror is. But the more I thought about it, I really wanted that mirror to be a statement piece when you walked in and I wanted it to help open up the room and not feel so small in here, which is why I chose such a large floor mirror. And so I decided to put this over here and I think I made the right choice. I asked for um, opinions over on Instagram. So if you're not following me over on Instagram for like more behind the scenes and that kind of thing, definitely follow me over there. So right now we're just gonna get the furniture placed and then we're gonna get to decorating. So I absolutely fell in love with these chairs. These are from Wayfair from the Kelly Clarkson line. They're small enough to fit in my space comfortably, but comfortable enough for anyone to be able to set at. So I felt like this was such a good choice. I originally debated on putting a small little table in between these chairs, and then I decided not to when I was designing, and I kept coming back to it, but I felt like for the amount of space in here that was starting to get too cluttered and too many things, but you'll see that I'm about to put this ottoman here in the middle, and so there is plenty of space for you to be able to set things down. I still think it'd be nice to have a little table right here, but it also messes up the flow of being able to walk around. And so I did decide to leave that out. This ottoman is one of my favorite pieces in the whole family room down here. And I just wanna make sure that I'm getting it lined up, centered with the mirror, and it'll be centered with the chairs also. I'm looking for about 12 to 14 inches so that I wanna be far enough away to walk through, but I wanna be close enough to put my feet up. So I chose these tripod lamps that they sell at Target because I really like the style of them and I really was enjoying the color. It had the gold that matches in with the um, gold of the mirror. The only thing I do not like about these lamps is the cord. I wish that the cord was a little bit easier to hide, but it's not. So it drives me crazy a little bit and I'll see if I can come up with a solution. But in the meantime, I guess I'll just have to deal with the cord. And I just realized that I left the little stickers on here. Definitely don't want that. Something that I'm a trying to achieve, I'm a trying, did you hear how I just said that? Something I'm trying to achieve when you walk into this room is symmetry. I really wanted these lamps to be flanking each side of this mirror evenly so it really kind of made a statement piece um okay so let's do the lamp over here and show you how we're gonna do the lighting on this side okay over here i really wanted just like kind of a nice big bold statement of a of a table lamp i was debating on how i wanted to decorate this little i kind of call it a buffet table and i figured out what i wanted I really love this lamp. I actually found this lamp because it like you can like dim it up and down. But I found this one at Target and it's really nice. It was kind of pricey, I feel like, for Target, but it achieved my purpose and I really liked it. And I've been saving to do this basement, so I was gonna do it the way I wanted to do it. The only other large, large piece that I'm going to have in here that's more decorative is going in this corner. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Then that way we can get to the little bit of like more smaller decorating. Here in my house, my house is more modern farmhouse. And this used to hang upstairs in my living room. And I just really wanted this to be down here because I wanted my basement to look elegant, but I also wanted it to have a little bit of a rustic feel. And so I decided to bring this down in here. This plug-in right here drives me crazy and I wonder if there's a plug in behind the mirror that maybe I could move this cord back behind the mirror. I try and hide my cords as much as possible. But anyway, this is my little ode to my modern farmhouse to help with the elegant look, but kind of give it a little bit of a rustic feel down here. Okay, so I decided to use this because I wanted to add in some more blue and I wanted to have something that kind of complement each other and are the same, you know, architecturally. So I went ahead and I decided to go with this because. I really didn't think another mirror would be a good choice. So, and I definitely needed some blue. Okay, I have a funny story about this. This is hilarious. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. This was from Kirkland's. This olive branch is from the tree that I'm gonna put over here. 
And when it arrived, it was broken, and I was gonna send it back, and then I decided, no, I'm not gonna send it back. Because one, it was really tall for my basement, and two, okay, go back in there. I really liked how it like set in here. Okay, stay. And so I actually thought that was super cute. And I was like, no, I'll have that with the olive tree over here. And then it'll go nicely together. So I improvised. So let's fill this space in here. Okay. Oh, my hands are full. I found this bowl. I thought this was a beautiful bowl. It's like stone. Ah! Guys. <laughs> I'll fix that in a minute. I found this bowl. I really liked it. I thought it was super pretty. But I thought it needed something coming out of it. You're going to find that here in a little bit, because I got a lot of woods and whites and you know creams and blues that I'm gonna throw in pops of black because I really feel like every room looks super elegant if they have pops of black. So I'm gonna put those there. And then this really nice little stand. I have, they have these at Hobby Lobby. And I'm not super big on signs with words anymore, but boy, oh boy, I definitely could use this in my life. Um, he will sustain you. And this is Isaiah 46.4. And boy, does he ever. So, I'm gonna put that there as a great reminder. And then, of course, I'm gonna add in some greenery. Actually, I think I'll spread it, there we go. A little greenery from behind. And let me step back and see how that looks. Oh, see, that looks lovely. Except I just realized that this is backwards and there's a tag. What in the world? I'm gonna have to go get my blow dryer to fix that. You guys remember the little blow dryer trick to take tags off? And I have to go get some newspaper or something to fill this in. Hey, so they don't go to waste. I'll use my furniture placement. I'll put that down in there. See if that'll help hold it up the way I want. Oh yeah, ta-da! Okay, and we'll get the blow dryer to get that off. Okay, so I have this nice blue basket and I shoved a couple of different big poofy cream colored blankets that I have. That way we can put that here in the middle and it blocks that cord. But also then we have this available for when we're sitting here in my basement, it gets chilly very often. And so this would be a great way for us to just have, one, to incorporate some more blue, two, I love cream blankets. And then three, it's also functional because then we can use it if we're chilly and we're sitting here, you know, just hanging out. If you guys are enjoying today's video, don't forget to hit the like button. I just have this olive tree. This is the one that came broken on the top. And I went and I found this nice ceramic pot at Target. And so I thought this would be great to put it in. I'm also gonna put some filler in it. So I'll do that here in just a little bit. We'll come back to that, but I love this olive tree and then it looks nice. Maybe I can block that cord a little bit. Let me see how that looks. It's kind of blocking it. Not the best. Let's see. What a pretty tree. All you have to do for the blow dryer trick is just point it on the sticker tag, put it on there for a few seconds, let it get warmed up, and then it usually just pulls right off. I really like this greenery and I felt like the it just really needed something next to the mirrors in between here just to give it a little pop. Over here, greenery really will soften up your room, any room that you are decorating. So we're gonna add that there and then I have something that's gonna go over there and we'll come back to that, but let's do another one of this on the other side. Okay, so here are the floating shelves that Jason and I hung. I decided to go with black because I felt like this room needed more pops of black. I originally was gonna go with white and then I was like, nope, I'm gonna do more black just to give a little bit more of that. So let's go ahead and get to some fun part and get to decorating the shelves and um, like what we're gonna put on our ottoman and just kind of like get our accessories going. Accessories were a big component to finishing out this room and making it look the way that I wanted it to look. I showed this in other videos before, but using the painter's tape to mark out like where you want to put your stuff is like perfect way to do it. And so that's what I'm using down here. You're going to see a theme that I've been doing throughout the basement down here that I've been using that for like furniture replacement and everything. So definitely use it for your walls, for your pictures or your shelves. Oh boy, karate flip flop. And he, he, 
He literally was saying this morning how bad your back hurts. How do you do that? Ibuprofen. <laughs> I got these adorable bird pictures and we're gonna do one on each shelf. And we're just gonna kind of put them here in the middle. And it's got the nice wood that I brought in, the wood tones over there. And so we'll put that there. All right, on this side, I'm putting two little wooden candlesticks. And on the other side, I'm doing like a wooden dough bowl with a little greenery and actually another pop of greenery. Cause greenery is what I'm really going for over here on this wall. Cause I just want to take the sterile look of this whole huge wall away. And greenery will definitely do that. Actually, let me take this down, this up here. Maybe I will have that hang off. We'll come back and I'll see if I want that hanging off like that or not. We got another bird photo that matches. They're siblings. And then I just have a dough bowl here. Whoa. That's got two little birds with little greenery coming out of it. How cute that is. A really cool vase that I don't know why this reminded me. It, it's not a bird at all, but for some reason it reminded me of a bird. Oh boy, here comes that refrigerator on again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna do a little bit of stuff down here. I don't wanna overdo it, but it does look really plain. So I'm gonna add a few items in down here below to just kind of fill this space in. I'm gonna throw in some pops of black books and look at this cute little candle stand and little candle holder. I think that's so cute. Put that there with a bird. I'm gonna move this all just this way a little bit because I want this out from underneath there. Yes, like that. I don't want my candle right underneath there. I think that fills in that wall space nicely. Okay, hold on. Don't like the way this is hanging down so unnatural. We want it to just drape nicely. Oh, I feel like that is so complimentary to the room and the greenery just adds a lot of warmth with the pops of black. But I feel like over here on the other side, I need to lay one little stack of black books to help tie it all in. You know, I think we better add a bird on this side also. That way, now the two sides really match. And let's bring in some much needed warmth here on our ottoman. Greenery with the cute little black pop of color there and then the wood that matches the wood on the lamps. So that looks so cute. Okay, all we have left to do over here on this side of the room. This room was pretty much basically just, I didn't do a ton to it. I have the same furniture. I got some new throw pillows that are super cute. Um, I got a new coffee table, a new end table, and then of course I got the matching rug as the other side. But one of my favorite things that we did down here is we added lighting because we were talking about earlier about how much difference lighting can make. Now we're over here at my bookcase and we went and got some LED lights from Ikea also. And we're gonna light up these sections. So Jason's gonna install those, but I highly recommend that you light up your bookcases. It just really like gives a little extra something. And are you ready to do this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexa, turn on the basement. It's amazing. It just lights up this bookcase and showcases each piece that I have placed in there. This is such a fun piece. This is the original advertisement for our house for the neighborhood and my neighbor had this and so we decided to frame it and put it in our bookcase to keep forever. How fun is that? I'm not all the way done decorating. I actually have pictures of my grandkids that go up here. So I will put those up later. And then all we have left to do is hang my artwork over here on this wall. I just kept it nice and simple, cozy. I have blankets, like a blanket rack. These adorable little poofs to add in extra seating when we're having people over. And so just a nice little area. This coffee table was big enough that it's kind of a weird place that I have it placed in the room 
But in order to make this room work, because this is a small area with a door, and then we have a door here, it's really tricky. So I feel like getting this bigger coffee table helped fill out the space and just make it, you know, I just think it looks so much better. We're in this area, we have our popcorn machine for movie nights, and this is a little drink holder. And so I'm gonna get this popcorn machine cleaned up so me and Jason can tonight just enjoy ourselves, watch a movie. And then the only other thing that I would like to do to this area, this is like our bar area, is I would like to get new bar stools because obviously that is not matching the flow of this at all. And so um, I have not been able to find ones that I like. So if you have ones to recommend, please let me know down below. Okay, a fun suggestion for you guys is I've got these off of Michael's and they are large poster frames. They're 24 by 36, as you can obviously see. And I'm going to hang those on this wall over here. And they are pictures of my grandkids, so that's why I'm not showing it right now. But I just went on to Walmart and I had pictures printed off poster size. They were $20 and I got the frames for $20. So I ended up only spending $40 on each one, when you guys know if you go to places like smallwoods.com and all that, these are so expensive. And I think that's gonna be so cute because it's gonna be black and white photos that fill in this wall of my three precious little grandbabies. So let's finish up this room and then this basement is complete. 